I know we all know about the ways that COVID-19 and physical distancing has inconvenienced our lives and challenged us in the way we live. But this past week, I've been thinking about some ways that the Lord has used COVID-19 in my life and in the lives of my family and a lot of my friends to cause us to think differently about some things. And frankly, I like the way I'm changing and I'm thinking about these areas. And I'm hoping that when all this is over and, and it will be over, these parts of me are going to be changed forever. And I thought I'd share them with you because I bet you're feeling the same way about at least some of these. And maybe we can be grateful together. The first way that I've seen my family change is how we view our heroes, who we view as our heroes, who we follow, who we admire, who we want to be like. You know, as I watch celebrities on TV and in other places, shelter in place and fabulous homes and comfort in what seems like peace, to me, all those things that seem so interesting about them don't seem so interesting anymore. My girls were commenting about a fashion blogger that they follow who has run out of things to talk about and who's asking her followers what she should cover. Things like fashion just don't seem as interesting anymore, and neither do the people who pitch them. At the same time, a whole different kind of hero is coming to the surface. Not celebrities or people that you follow on Twitter or Instagram, but everyday people doing heroic things like doctors and nurses and first responders who put themselves in harm's way every single day to keep other people safe. Or your teachers who are now trying to raise and manage to ke and keep their own small kids at home and who are staying up late at night and preparing lessons for you that are new and nothing they've ever prepared before. Or even you, you know, you may not think of yourself as a hero, but Jesus said in John 15, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I, I command you. Laying down your life doesn't just mean dying. It means sacrificing. Statistically speaking, you're not going to die of coronavirus. People your age don't. But you've decided to be careful not to get sick so you won't infect other people around you. You've given up your well-being for a season, given up a lot of things so that you can care for someone else. You've laid down your life. And that, my friend, makes you a hero too. Way more interesting than any fashion blogger. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you and have a great day.